Oh, right here. You got it. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that interior. So as you can see, there's plenty of storage. Lift up in here. That is plenty of storage. That goes down to my elbow and I have pretty, I have pretty long arms. You have extra container for coins and whatnot. You have two USB ports here, two Two USB ports there, 12 volt, 12 volt out, 12 volt outlet, 12 volt outlet here. This is uh, this is a four, uh, four by four, so you have two wheel high, uh, four wheel high and four wheel low. Now, when it comes to hauling the boat, four uh, four wheel low is what I'll be using, and this this thing is seriously gorgeous. That this really is. This really is like it has so many features, including uh, an auto shut off if you're stopped. Uh, the engine will shut off, then as soon as you release the uh, the brake, it'll turn back on. Plenty of features when it comes to phone audio, including apps. To actually connect this, All right? So then we go to you go to yep, and then it brings in CarPlay. And so, yeah, so I seriously love this truck. This is my first truck I've ever owned, and it is gorgeous. Turn the heater off, actually. So we'll put power. And so, yeah, this is your heating options. Cold, hot. I can't wait to test out the AC this, uh, this summer, see how well that is. Volume control, tune. It's seriously, this is a phenomenal truck. Like I said, you have two uh, 12 volt outlet and two USB ports in the back, and the heat does heat and AC does go to the back uh, rear passengers. So yeah, uh, like I said, I am glad I did not get vinyl because this is easier to clean. And you like I could have my dog come in here and just clean off hair, then that's pretty much it. Reverse camera. It is a very wide angle. See, so you see the two bumpers. This is a very wide angle camera, so you'll, I can't wait to test this out on the boat. Put that back in drive, that goes back to normal. So this is, it's a, it's seriously a smooth ride. And I seriously love driving this thing. Now, of course, it's a brand new finish. This is a gray and tan interior. All right, so just let you guys know, there is a few drive modes you can do. This is sport, this is normal. This is tow or haul. That is, sorry, I'll go back. That is snow or wet. And that is eco, which is the mode I'm using now. This truck is seriously amazing and I highly recommend this. I said to myself, if I'm gonna go, uh, if I'm gonna get a truck, I'm going Ford. I have to get a Ford F-150. Ford F-250s and 350s are awesome, but a Ford F-150 100% suits my needs. All right, so I wanna give a huge shout out to Skip at Bus Ford in McHenry. He gave me a great deal on this truck and uh, and it everything went well, great customer service. And I am actually going to bring my truck and uh, SUV over there and it's gonna get, I'll have them service on, on the vehicles from here on out. And so I seriously love this thing. It, it, it's easy to drive. It, it is touch screen. This thing seriously drives like a car. It really does. The response in the steering wheel and in the accelerator are instant. There isn't a delay. The engine doesn't need a wind up. It's instant power to, to, the, to the engine. 
And so normally uh, in a, a little older truck, you needed to put the accelerator down and then it, it winds up a little bit. This this thing drives like a car, which the main thing, if you get, if you get a new truck, what you gotta remember is that you're in a truck. Like is this thing, the steering wheel, if I need to make turns, I don't need to be dr uh, dramatic with the steering wheel. It, it turns like it should. As you can see, I turned it from 12 o'clock to six o'clock and it, uh, and it, and it did a 90 degree turn. You know, with an older truck, you need to be a little bit more dramatic with it. So I'm just going home deep right now, but we'll be back. All right, so what this is, this is a 2.7 liter V6. Now there are a lot of benefits when it comes to this motor. This, I got the EcoBoost model, so it has a turbo. As you can see, it is a very clean engine right now. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Obviously, all my fluids are full. It is brand new. We'll take a look around the rest of the car in a second. What I'm gonna do is this grill, I'm gonna take this grill off. I'm gonna make a video on how to do it. I asked Ford only makes it for the Raptors. They do not make it for any other model, but I'm gonna, I, I bought a grill already. It's on, it's on its way. That says Ford in huge black letters right here. I'll show you a picture of it right now. I can't wait to get that grill because it is a, it's gonna thinner black trim so this the grill is gonna appear wider and it also is going to have the Ford lettering all the way across which it looks awesome it seriously does look awesome all right let's close this I think these are 20 inch rims these are either 22 or 20 inch rims but I think these are 20 inch uh, let's see does it say on the tire yep uh, 55 r20 so this is a 20 inch rim it has six lugs on it and yeah, like I said, it is clean. It is clean. This does have a uh, heavy duty foot footstep. All right, so when it comes to when it comes to the pack out, this unit fits perfectly underneath. So I'm going to get one more of these. This pack out is going to hold my roadside assistance that I need for myself in case if I need to swap out the tires. Uh, it's going to keep my straps it's gonna keep my uh, trailer hitches. Yeah, I gotta get one more of these because that perfectly fits it underneath. Fits perfectly underneath there. Perfect. So I'm gonna get one more of this unit. This unit costs like $70, I think. But it is gorgeous. It is the STX 4x4. All right, it is getting warm outside. It's in the, in the 40s and 50s the past couple days. Snow is melting, it feels good. It is hot. So, my good friend Robert Bates offered me to give, uh, he has a bunch of uh, two inch balls. I think I'm gonna actually request for one of them. Yeah. So it was time to put the trailer hitch on. Now, like I said, this is capable of, I think I'll put the correct uh, amount of weight it can tow right now, but I think it's 8,000 to 9,200. So this truck will be hauling a 19 foot boat. This is actually funny. A Ford truck is going to be hauling a Chevy boat. The SUV towed the boat for an X amount of years. So that is why we decided to get a truck. And if we're, we were going to get a truck, it has to be brand new because people do crazy things with trucks and I don't want to inherit someone else's problems. And so the SUV did us good and it's still gonna do us good. But it was time to get someone that could actually haul the boat because I'm not docking the boat. I love to launch it, so I need to continuously take uh, put the boat in, take the boat out. But yeah, this, this is a bad mamma jamma. Ford F-150. The bed is pretty good, the bed is a good size. You have a strap right there and right there on both sides for the rear door like uh this is for both uh both doors front and back though where the handle is like that to open it. it has storage right here and the full line of storage right there and yeah got a got an ocean bar right here you got four ocean bars yep and i one thing i love about this because there, the because the pressure in the cabin, all the doors actually close. Like all you have to do is close the door lightly, and it actually closes the entire door. The pressure inside doesn't prevent it from closing all the way. 
So if you, uh, if you just give it a little push, it closes. And the, the, the storage in the middle console on the side right here on both sides, you have four cup, uh, six cup holders, two on the door, two up here, and two for the uh, passengers. Of course, you got your glove box. You got a storage right here and storage underneath that, which I got to organize that still. So one thing I got to get used to, I got to get used to manual seats. Got your, uh, you can move your seat forward and back with the bar right here and your lumbar support right there. So what this one does, this actually puts uh, this either brings the back support in or put it out. So you have three uh, three adjustments for, for both of the front seats. So I got the brand new truck. I'm extremely excited about using it and it actually does the trick 100%. It's brand new. Like I said, when it comes to buying a truck, I really didn't, didn't want to inherit someone else's problems because people do some crazy stuff with trucks. Like they haul crazy, they haul stuff. You know, they also, you know, like their trucks go in nasty places that cars or SUVs no, don't normally go into and I really didn't want to inherit issues with with something that I'm going to pay for. All right so the truck is going to be extremely useful and I'm going to love driving it and I, I still love my SUV. I love it. I just cleaned the crap out of it today and I love it. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Man Caver Tools and I'll see you guys next time.